All right, everybody. Prime Bri Briximus Prime here. It looks like we got some Legacy Galvatron. And uh, I came here looking for the Page Punchers, specifically the Batman one, but it's not here. But honestly, it's not that big a deal. I'll find it when I find it. Looks like we got some more sound waves, only the plastic is missing, just like the new Legacy Voyagers, which it's just a bunch of bulkheads. Looks like we got some Legacy Deluxes, and then we've got uh, Thrust. Man, I'm gonna miss this style of packaging, but all for um, price cost, I guess. Sound wave, and ooh, we have finally found Junk Heap. Nice. I'm definitely going to have to pick this guy up, and uh, just in case I don't find anything better, this will definitely be the thumbnail. But uh, Or maybe I'll throw in some other stuff as well, but I'll definitely have to pick this guy up. They have a second one as well, and then there's another sound wave, which is also missing the plastic, so pretty interesting selection of figures. They still have these guys, and... Looks like for the Studio Series Core class, there's no Spike Wit Wiki, it's still these ones. And then for the Leader class figures, it's still a bunch of Star Screams, no Dinobots here, so sadly enough. Back here towards the NECA section, it doesn't look like they really have anything. I mean, they never have anything back here. Well, actually, that's not entirely true. I did notice they do have demana back here from gargoyles i know some people are still looking for this one this is my first time seeing this one in person so i guess anyone who's still looking for some of the gargoyles there's a few right there and other than that there's a couple gremlins and a bunch of stuff that i don't collect but i still try to feature as much of this stuff as possible because i do know that there are people out there that are still looking for this stuff but anyway that is really it for the NECA section, I'm not really seeing too much. I found quite an odd Power Rangers swap here. Someone stole the pink Ranger, and it's now the black one? Huh? Okay, uh, I, 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 I don't know. I, hmm. Uh, yeah, it seems to be it for that. And if any of you are wondering about the other Power Rangers, they do got Fish Face over here, they got Blue Ranger, Fish Face, and a bunch of others. Obviously, I know his name's not actually Fish Face, but that's what I nicknamed him. And then they just have every other Power Rangers figure that I've seen here constantly, like almost every single time I come here, everything here is like exactly the same. And I just dropped that. Here's an actual one with the Black Ranger in it. So someone took the Pink Ranger and like one of the only pink rangers here and just swapped it out gi joe i do have to admit i do kind of want the cobra commander but other than i have not seen a lot of very good variety of gi joe figures i keep seeing a bunch of the snake eyes the cobra commanders and uh lady jade or lady J. I i mean sorry i'm thinking of a different franchise ninja turtles uh looks like it's just this man whoever this man is Anyway, that is basically got a random Ghostbusters figure just sitting here. Don't see these very often. And then over here in the Bandai section, doesn't look like there's a whole lot. Looks like that big sale they had on Bandai stuff is now over. Um, I saw that there. I saw that McFarlane Toys is going to be releasing some more Avatar figures. I believe they have a they have a Sokka coming, and then they have another version of both Zuko and Aang coming that are different versions and anyway it's gonna be I mean, it's, it's nice to see they're doing more. So Briximus Prime back at another Walmart and I was looking at some of the Transformers I wasn't really planning on filming in here because this Walmart never really gets anything new that Ravage doesn't look all that great but um came here looking for any new legacy studio series just anything really and I found another Blitzwing the box is a little dinged up, but it's another Blitzwing. In the last Toy Hunt video, I found a Blitzwing, and so I just found another one at a Walmart. So everyone who's still looking for this guy, keep looking. He's showing up at Walmarts. He seems to be shipping out in a in a you know in a case with Galvatron, because last time I found a Galvatron, I also found Blitzwing. So be sure to keep your eyes out, because I'm still finding them. As for the Lego section, I think they're missing a couple tumbleweeds that should be rolling on through here. All right, guys, I'm back at another Walmart. Looks like they've got some more Black Series Echo and the Client. So for anyone looking for those two, as for Transformers, 
I mean, there's a Braun. I mean, don't see that all the time, but literally all of these are just the regular Wave 1 Deluxes. Though it looks like they, nope, yep, they have at least everyone from Wave 1. And then nothing really for all the Studio Series Voyagers. Alrighty guys, I'm in a Target, and there isn't really much new to show off, but I did want to show off, Target's having this huge clearance stuff going on, and they, and this Target that I'm in just did like an overhaul on stock, they have a, an entire full wave of Archive Series figures right here, and they've got a crap ton of Landos, I'm surprised out of everything that's on clearance, it isn't, these are not on clearance at this point. They got a bunch of Masters of the Universe stuff that's also on clearance. They've also got a bunch of DC Multiverse that are on clearance to the point that like all of them are gone, including like Catwoman and some other figures. And then over here at the Transformers, looks like those Buzzworthy Bumblebee Silver Streaks from Legacy are going on sale. Uh, and as you can see, they're all gone. A couple of Legacy, everything here for Legacy is exactly the same, but they have all these, they have a huge variety of different Transformers to pick from as well as a whole crap ton of sweeps, more Black Series, more Legacy. You got some more variety of Black Series other than Lando Calrissian. Looks like there's some Bo-Katan in here. There's some Tech. There's or a, Oh, that's one that I haven't seen in a while. I uh, can't remember her name. Uh, Koska Reeves or... Oh, yeah, there it is <laughs> down there, Reeves. But, yeah, there's those figures. And then... Looks like we've got some Thor Love and Thunder, which I watched that movie, and eh. I have been I have been thinking about getting this Ragnarok figure. He looks pretty cool. Got some figures from got the one figure from the X Men Wave Siren. That uh, seems to be about it for that. I'm buying the McFarlane Toys Spawn Soul Crusher. Wasn't really planning on picking this one up, except apparently here at Target. We'll scan this. Apparently these guys are on clearance. I don't even think the thing's on, but basically, basically these guys are on, Soul Crusher here is like on sale for like seven bucks. So decided to pick him up. There it is. All right, so I'm at a different target this time and DC Multiverse, there isn't really anything that interests me. Transformers are literally exactly the same as the last one that I went to. Like, same thing with the Vo the Leaders, Voyagers, Deluxes, Studio Series Leader. Like, everything is literally exactly the same. But, I did, however, find a interesting Marvel Legends figure. They do have the Marvel's uh, Ragnarok, the, you know, the evil robot version of Thor in that comic book looking design and i have to admit i do i am considering getting this figure i just wish it maybe was just a little bit cheaper because i feel like this figure really could have been sold as just a regular sized marvel legends but not to fret they do have quite a bit of him down here so i'm in no rush to decide if i want to get him right now or later so but i did want to mention that is something new that i still haven't seen in person yet and then over here on this side, got some more Thor stuff, specifically with Gore the God Butcher, and then Ravager Thor, Ravager Thor, Ravager Thor, and the Armored Thor. And then, let's see, looks like just everything's on clearance, just like literally everything. All right, also, while I was looking around at some of the Masses of the Universe stuff, as you can see, I did happen to find the new Eternia Beastman. He looks really good. I love the way how this beast man looks, especially with that fur coat going on on the top. I'm at Ross. Normally I don't really record in Ross because they never really have anything, but you wouldn't be seeing this clip if it wasn't anything worth seeing. They did have this little pack from the old kingdom, that little core class target exclusive Bumblebee 2 pack. And it's not for $15, it's for $7.99. So I am definitely gonna pick that up. All right, guys, I'm at Target, and Target got a big overhaul of brand new stuff. First of all, they did get a bunch of brand new wrestling figures. I know a lot of people are trying to look for those. They've still got quite the amount of Black Series, including the new Jawa from Kenobi, which I thought was really interesting. They got the Jawa. And then, sadly, not really anyone else besides the Jawa who's brand new. I mean, they do have some vintage collection Migs, May Migs Mayfeld, but nothing much from there. Also, 
I happen to find some of the page punchers. This is the only one I'm really interested in is the, the Batman one because this is a Batman comic I've always wanted and this thing's more of a bonus item. So I'm going to pick it up just for the comic. I really like that. And then they do also have the Superman one. They have the Flash one down here. And then they do have the Black Adam one back there as well. I also saw this gold label version of the Lex Luthor power suit. And I've never seen this gold label before. So there is that. Also, here's that Red Ranger that everyone was freaking out about who finally started showing up in stores. So anyway, there is that one as well. And then over here for Transformers, we finally have something new at Target. They do have the new Voyager class uh, Toy Colors Dinobot as well as the Toy Colors Pterosaur right here for the Buzzworthy Bumblebee. And then they also have the big Buzzworthy Bumblebee four pack right here with the Gold Bug, Ransack, Skywarp, and the Scorponok Toy Color version. Other than that, there isn't really anything else that's brand new, but thankfully everything here is new enough. And also, I just want to make it clear, there is a lot of Pterosaur here. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So for anyone who missed out on that Amazon exclusive one, you've got a lot of uh, options for this one. And then for the Dinobot, they have two of them. So let that be aware that they're, they are stocking on a lot of these. And just in case anyone was curious, the Marvel Legends are literally exactly the same that I've seen absolutely everywhere. Alright guys, so I'm at another Target, and look at this. They, this Target also has a couple of Buzzworthy Bumblebee Dinobots. So they've got that one. Legacy looks like it's just a pair of bulkheads. Studio Series, we got a Thrust, I haven't seen him in a while, and a Scourge. And then just got some Legacy Deluxes, specifically Skids. And then we do have some Pterosaurs up here as well. So, and then even more of the Jawas too. Like they're still, like I'm surprised. Like both targets that I'm close to have been restocking on all of it. And then there's also these Squadrons figures, which are also new. I don't collect them, but they are something new that I did notice. All right, guys, I'm back at 2HQ after the toy hunt and I'm gonna show off the haul that I got. First off, I did end up picking up the DC uh, McFarlane Toys Page Punchers Batman. Out of all the Page Punchers, this was the only one that I actually kind of gave a crap about because Batman really is the only DC character who I give a crap about. I mean, maybe a little bit of Flash, but it's mostly Batman. I love Batman. So I definitely had to go ahead and pick this up, especially with this being a Jim Lee comic. And uh, I think this will be a fun uh, little thing to have. I'm planning on doing a special video on this on my second channel. So be sure to go and check out Nemesis Studios. I'll leave a card either right here in the corner or there is always a link in the description of all of my videos to that channel as well. But I wanted to start doing more comic book content and, and some of that comic book content I thought I could maybe do something with this on that channel. So if you're interested in seeing me do with a video on that, be sure to go and check that out. It probably won't be up by the time this video goes up, but I will plan on having it go up there. And obviously you guys saw inside of the video, I did go ahead and pick up the McFarlane Toys Soul Crusher figure from the Spawn comics. I don't know too much about this character other than that he's a villain that fights Spawn in the comic books. And basically he's just a guy who's supposed to hunt down Hellspawn, but the only reason I got this figure was not just because he is a great looking figure, but this guy was on sale at Target for only like eight bucks. And that's with tax. Eight bucks with tax. So if any of you want to go and pick this guy up, now's the time. And also you guys did see, I did make that brief stop at Ross and I made the unexpected find of the Buzzworthy Bumblebee, uh, Bumblebee and Spike Witwicky uh, Core Class 2 pack. I know it's officially not technically branded as a Core Class, but this is technically just the Core Class, unofficial Core Class Bumblebee that we just, I guess, kind of got in the War for Cybertron trilogy. And I guess also a Spike Witwicky, though this figure is now considered obsolete at this point. And yeah, a pretty good price if I do say so myself. And as you guys saw in the video, I did go ahead and pick up the Studio Series 86 Voyager Class Junk Heap. Be sure to check out this review when, you know, subscribe to the channel for when this review goes out. I'll be doing a double review between this guy and Rekgar. So anyway, be sure to stay tuned for that. Really excited about this guy. 
And uh, yeah, that is basically it for this toy hunt. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to give me a like, comment what you guys think, and subscribe to the channel for more toy hunts, and I'll catch you guys next time.